good afternoon everyone. My name is Rob Puka. I'm from Papua New Guinea. Um, I work as a GIS specialist with the International Labor Organization um, in this program called the STR AIT project, the STRAIT program. So it stands for Support to Rural Entrepreneurship, Investment and Trade. It's an agricultural project with FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, as the lead agency. ILO comes in the component of transport infrastructure. So ILO works to maintain and rehabilitate the transport links into the farmers and the, uh, the villages in rural Papua New Guinea. So I'll be talking about the Papua New Guinea Road Transport Information Management System. This is a um, platform that's uh, completely open source. Um, the centralized database is built using uh, PostgreSQL and PostGIS. Uh, we use QGIS as a means of um, importing and refining our data prior to uh, putting it in our system. Uh, the GeoServer-based web map, we also have a uh, Windows application, the desktop application, and we also have an Android application. Um, I'll go in through briefly the applications of each of these. So from the system design, we can see that the central server has the database in PostgreSQL. Map server is uh, the GeoServer. The web server is the Apache. So the main desktop application, it um, has functionalities for road networks, inventory reporting, annual road maintenance plan, or ARMP we call it, and contract management. For the mobile application, it has the capabilities of um, collecting inventory data and um, site monitoring or site visits to report any logs and stuff. For the web application, we have online mapping and online maps and data and the reports. Um, so here are the interface. I'll go through the examples of the applications that we're currently using. So here on the slide, we have the screenshot of the PNG CSM or the mobile application. So if there are any incidences that occur along the road or if uh, one of our engineers would like to report on progress, then this application is used. Then we have the CSM report generation. So from the application, these reports are generated. So here in the example we have, it's a routine maintenance and there was a land slip causing blockage. Then we have road asset management system, which is basically a tool to manage the, uh, the transport assets along the road. So culverts, uh, bus stops, um, signages, and etc. Then we have the annual road maintenance plan. So it's basically a tool for prioritizing the annual road maintenance, the upgrading and the construction works based on the budget. We also have the contract management system, which is a tool to, um, a tool in the development of the interfaces for uploading of contract status reports in relevant websites. So basically, it, it's, it's a tool used to measure physical and financial progress. If there are any variations, variation orders in the scope of works, then this tool can be used to um, transparently document all these changes. Uh, in the web interface, there's the capability of also viewing the reports that are being uh, generated or being uploaded by the Android application. So the same report that's uh, viewed in the web interface, you can also export that as a PDF, as we can see. Um, in conclusion, PNG Routines is an innovative open source tool consisting of three components, a desktop application, a mobile application, and an online interface. These elements are seamlessly integrated and supported by PostGIS and PostgreSQL servers. The primary objective of Routims is to enhance connectivity between rural communities and um, Papua New Guinea Department of Works and Highways, enabling more effective and more effective data collection and information management, whilst also supporting reporting and monitoring of roadworks. In essence, it will support all aspects of roadworks in Papua New Guinea. Its purpose, design, and eventually um, the utilization holds immense potential for long-term benefits to the country. And not only 
does Routines advocate for transparency? It also embraces digital innovation. Thank you.